Hundreds of Israelis have attended the funeral of an off-duty police officer who was shot and killed in the West Bank. Baruch Mizrahi was fired at whilst driving near the city of Hebron on his way to a Seder dinner, the traditional feast for the Passover holiday. His wife and child, who were also in the car, were wounded. At the funeral, his wife said she had lost the love of her life in the whistle of a bullet and praised her late husband for his integrity and perseverance. The killing may have been carried out by a Palestinian acting independently of armed factions, according to Israel's internal security minister. There has been no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack, which came a day after three Jewish families moved back into a building in Hebron, which has been at the center of a lengthy ownership dispute between Jewish settlers and Palestinians. Shalom, everybody, and welcome back to Kol El Chabad. We're at the Barad Scholarship Fund event. We're giving out scholarships to amazing students who have spent their whole year studying hard, doing their tests, sending them to Chabad, and then getting money uh, to continue their studies and get even stronger. And of course, it's a happy event, it's an amazing event, but it's based on something kind of tragic, which is a lot of people who have lost their parents. These are orphans. And one of the saddest stories that is here tonight, turning into a happy story through the children that are growing up, is the story of Baruch Mizrahi, uh, who I remember being his murder in 2014, Erev Pesach, right before Pesach, we were about to go into this incredible joyous day, and yet we heard that in the Hebron region, a car was overtaken, shot at, and uh, the husband of the family, who was also a very high-ranking police officer, was murdered, uh, his wife was injured, one of the children, four out of five of his children were in the car, was injured, uh, but this incredible man who had done so much service to the country had been murdered right before Pesach. We're here with Hadas Mizrahi. Hadas, thank you so much for being with us today. And sorry so much for your loss. Tell us a little bit about, uh, it's, it hasn't been that many years, it's been two years uh, since uh, that awful era of Pesach. Tell us a little bit about what you went through, where you are today. Uh, good evening. Um, two years ago, I can remember it's nearly now. Uh, we won away uh, Erev Pesach. My husband was in, the, in, the, in work in the police. He came to us before Pesach. We rushed uh, to Hebron, to our parents. They live in Kiat Arba. Uh, I've got five children. Uh, four of them were in the core. Uh, in, we passed Tarkumia. Uh, we passed Lachish Tarkumia. Uh, terrorists uh, stand uh, on the way, shooted on us. My husband was straight killed. I was very serious injured. Uh, I told my children, uh, open your, your uh, 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 go under the, uh, the chairs, because uh, now the, sh uh, the terrorists are shooting at us. I took the wheel car and I rushed away from the uh, terrorists. Uh, we, Baruch Hashem, we had a very big uh, miracle, 45 bullets were in the car. Uh, that's our nest, Hagadol, it's, it's, very, it's very, very hard, because 22 years, me and Baruch were together. Uh, it's a very, very loss for, for us, to our family, and uh, for Medinat Israel. Am Israel, all the time said me an Eret Israel. Uh, but what I want to say that Chabad, Kolel Chabad, came to me the same uh, day after. They rang to me to hospital. They got my telephone and said me, look, we're Kolel Chabad. We want to help you. What can we give? What can we do? I said, excuse me, what? I don't feel good. I don't know what you want. Uh, so they said, okay, we're coming to hospital to see you to see what you need, what can we help you, you've got five children, I know they need help, uh, we, 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 now we are together with you. Uh, they came to us, uh, they gave them uh, games, they hugged them, they all Pesach, they were with us together. Uh, after Pesach, she, she told me, your children in school, they've got a uh, chugim, uh, we want to pay for them, we, wanna, we know the, the children are very good uh, pupils, uh, well, I know we, we know that it will be very hard, with the, hard in school now uh, to work, we want to give you private uh, teachers to teach them everything, all the time saying what can we give you, what can we give you, I said uh, I don't want, I don't want, it's okay, it's okay, Shani. no we need, we know, we give us to be happy to help you to give us. And really, that's the uh, strength of Am Israel to know to, to give uh, to people after what happened to them. And really, I want to say very, very thank you very much for Kolel Chabad, to the Rav Bloy, Orly, the, they hug us, they give us, it, it's all quiet, secret, they don't speak about it, and we feel comfortable to come and to take from them. Really, thank you very, very much. Hadas, uh, your husband was a strong man, uh, he was a defender. 
Uh, he was the head of the cyber unit of the Israeli police for a long time. He was in the army for 25 years. We're talking about a man who the defense of the Jewish people was foremost in his mind. That's what he lived every single day. Other than, of course, being a family man and a lover of the land, he was also a defender, a warrior. You're sitting next to him. Suddenly he's shot to death by those very terrorists that he's been fighting all his life. Tell me about that feeling. It was very, very hot because Bach was a strong man. I was a quiet woman sitting under. It was very, very hot. But I know the same minute that I'm uh, fighting with the terrorists because I want to live. I want to grow up my children. I don't know. And I even didn't know what happened uh, behind me because it was very, very quiet. I remember when, when I, I took the wheels and I ran away from the terrorists. So I stopped the car. I ran the police. And I look, I, I, I put my head to see who's from the children who are dead and who are alive. And I say, and then I saw everyone is okay and they're all alive. So I, I breathed and I said, okay. And I know that I'm very, very injured. I was bleeding from every place. I took my sweater. I covered my holes. I know I want to live. I want to be happy. I want to be strong. That's my fight from the terrorists to know that the Jews are Am Yisrael Chai Kayam and you will all live and you won't kill us and it won't help and it won't happen. These our terrorists or from our terrorists were released from the government list them when we released the Gilad Shalit and it's second time that they're killing and shooting Jews and they say we we will be in jail. They will release us and we will again come and kill Jews and one of the things is that in fighting with them that they should know they won't kill again. When your husband was uh, murdered uh, the police force also honored him the country honored him for for his service this was not just a loss to a family and a community but also to the police force in, in, in general but your children of course are the ones that suffer from it the most how have they grown up in the last two years? Uh, Baruch Hashem, you can see my children, my, and they're happy, they're strong, they play, they laugh. You can't see on us that we, that, that we had a, a very big uh, tragedy. Because I, I'm always saying I will, be, I will be strong for myself to have a koach for my children to be strong. And Baruch Hashem, Am Israel is with us, Kol El Chabad, and really they hug us, they give us. I want to say very, very thank you very, very much. And the Barad family is sponsoring scholarships tonight. Your children are receiving scholarships tonight? Yeah, my older one is, um, she volunteers in Magen David. She learned again in Magen David, and now she's volunteering over there. Uh, Tuesday, she even uh, volunteers in a, in, a, in a special school with children. They haven't got parents. Uh, she's all the time volunteering and volunteering. Uh, and she, she, it comes from her heart, and it gives us strength, her, to, to know, look, I got a lot from Am Israel. Now I want to give my side to Am Israel. And it, it, for me, it gives Baruch Hashem a lot, a lot of koach. Uh, it, it does me happy. It, it does our family good that we know that they uh, volunteer. Me and Baruch we, together, when we met, we volunteered in, uh, in, in Mishteret Israel and in Magen David. I even volunteered. I volunteered in a few places. Uh, one of the things that, that I do now is uh, every time that I, uh, I hear that, woman, that somebody lost her husband or her husband lost his, uh, his wife in a, in a terrorist or in every place, I go to the family, I speak to them, and I say, Look on me. I was the same like you. I think I was the same like you. I'm coming to give my strength like I got from Am Israel. I'm giving it to you. Uh, this is my telephone. I would like to see you in a few months, few years, happy, going up and seeing yourself on the right way like your, wom your, your woman lo wanted to be or your, or your wife that you lost uh, to see only good. And the, the children, if you will be happy, the children will be happy. Im en ani mili. Hadas Mizrahi, thank you so much for your courage, your triumph. Sorry for your loss, but uh, thank you for your strength, and that will inspire so many other people who have lost, need that strength, and together with families like yourselves, communities like yourselves, people like your husband and, your, and yourself who have volunteered all your life, now your daughter who is a volunteer will continue to be strong, and together with Kol El Chabad, the Barad family, and the scholarship that your child is receiving tonight. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.